Afternoon yoga, beers in the office bar, 2 a.m. creative sessions, shooing the dogs off the desk, feeling terrified before your biggest pitch of your career. What have all of these things got in common? Well, they're all likely activities you'll be involved with if you work in an agency. We're Lucy and Ross Mangini, and this is Life Design Diaries. Today, we're answering one of your lovely questions again. If you'd like to get involved, ask away on Twitter, Instagram, or our website. All our links are in the show notes. Okay, so today's question has come in from Dan Briggs. So thank you for getting in touch. And it is, you both have agency backgrounds. Would you recommend working in an agency for career development and experience? What do you think, Lucy? (laughs) Cheers, Dan. Yes, we do both have agency background. Uh, Yeah, I do, actually. As you've alluded to, it's pretty mad working in an agency, um, particularly marketing agencies. But to go back right to basics, we're talking about agencies as a um, services-based business. So it could be marketing services or recruitment services or anything really, I suppose. Um, Ross and uh, or tech services. So my background has been predominantly in digital marketing and social media, maybe web development agencies. And then Ross's has been like tech background, isn't it? So app and mobile development. So the premise is you have a group of skilled people that do it on behalf of a company. So um, yeah, I mean, I think me personally, I think if you're on the client services side, so you know really basic you probably have the um client services side and then maybe a design side that actually fulfill the work they're they're the ones that actually do the work so some some agencies don't have any have people in there that don't do any client services and I think although it is good and a really cool environment to be around and you might be working on pet food to you know the latest mobile phone um I don't know launch you do have a massive varied role um, in terms of the work that you're working on. But I think from a client services point of view, whether you're account managing, whether you're business development and sales, whether you're marketing, um, I think that that offers a really, really interesting insight into not only how the agency works, but how all of those businesses work, especially if you're a good salesperson. You know, you need to go and... um, uh, relay what your agency does and how it stands out and I mean in Manchester it's a pretty stuffy old market up here we've got agencies coming out of our ears so it's quite you know it's difficult to stand out um, so that's the first thing you need to learn what how to you know you need to learn how to do that um, really understand why your agency is different and what you're going to offer because um, typically you know when you're pitching for something there's probably three or four other agencies on the table so you've got to come across really well um, so not only do you have to understand who you're working for, but you need to understand what you're going to be doing for that business. And you need to have a really good understanding of how the business operates and what their objectives are, um, what the people, how the people work, what their, um, how you can sort of like get into them, how you can hook into those people. So I think for personable skills and um sales skills working for an agency on the client side is a massive but also in terms of your knowledge around different industries if you work for an agency that isn't industry specific um i think that your knowledge will just grow and grow and grow because one day as i say you're going to have to learn about a pet food company and who's buying that and how they make it and how they need to market it and then the next day you could be going to pitch for samson because they've got new earphones coming out or whatever headphones earphones headphones yeah just by doing your research and trying to do a good job for that client yeah exactly yeah the research alone i think and then if you're like me you've kind of put all those things away in the back of your mind and you pull them out five years later you know all of that useless knowledge so i think if you're thinking about um going into a job before maybe you start a startup you're you you know that you want a business yourself you want to be self-employed but you're not you haven't been able to experience that way of thinking too much going into a startup an agency is definitely a really really good shout I think just just for exposure not only what you learn but your network 
you know obviously I'm talking mostly if you're on the business development side because you need to get out there meet loads of people speak to loads of people um you know if you're a good agency you have some inbound inquiries coming in you have to filter through all of those um so yeah I think it's a massive massive one I've learned more well it was the only jobs I've had really for the last five six years working for agencies so yeah massive so Dan not, go and get an, a job in an agency so you're not biased at all <laughs> <laughs> no I can't really think I don't know can you think of another another role or another company that you could go and work for where you would be exposed to so many different mm. things and particularly the way of thinking because you have to go and sell your services to someone on a budget you have to be really tenacious to, to um, understand how to spend that money and how you're going to achieve the objections of that company. Yeah. So I think, you know, that is so translatable to, right, I've got a new business, I've got this amount of time or money, how am I going to best spend it? I think yeah, no, ma- I, I marketing think... is massive as well, isn't it? So an understanding from a marketing agency, I think is yeah I mean that, that's what you just said then is like mostly focused on sales and marketing roles mm. I think but I mean I, I I do agree actually when you say there what other thing can you get as much exposure um, and for me as well it's not just the fact that you're learning off the clients that you're working with and even if you are like um, sort of not not client services you're, you're still learning off those off the clients that you're working mm-hmm. with so there's, there's there's all round kind of wins there um, but Typically, agencies have less people than big, large corporate companies. So I actually think the other... Sort well, of, unless it's a large, big corporate agency. <laughs> well, it could be, yeah. well, yeah, no, that's yeah. the thing. It depends. But but I guess they work in smaller teams. Yeah. Like it seems... Um, they sit sort of in their silo, their specialism. Exactly. Yeah, yeah even if it is part of a big, big agency. Um, but So I think you get a lot of chance, even with the inner workings of the agency itself, to be exposed to a load of different um, aspects of business that if you're working in a corporate environment, that would just be not part of your job role. Yeah. I think there's a lot of opportunity within agencies of all types to kind of do things outside of your job role. And and yes, you could do that in a corporate environment, but sometimes it's so detached, like there's a head office. It's totally off your own back. Yeah, like there's a full on head office that just, tells us what we do for marketing yeah and then you've got like no say in that because you don't even know the people yeah at least kind of where it's you know you're closer to the people I think in agencies Mm. so that you can have more of an impact and and learn more about all of those different aspects well yeah I mean if you're um you're not only learning from a company but but you're learning from the people that you work with like we've been talking recently about the more exposure to experiences or um, campaigns or different marketing um, channels that you've kind of been around you then just draw up the dots for the next thing you know you everything's an iteration of something that's already been around so if you've been if you've really um, immersed yourself into an uh, uh, into a workplace or in around people that know a lot of um uh, of of like been involved in other marketing campaigns and things like that or just you know involved in lots of different businesses and you learn from those people then when you're looking at the things that you're needing to do you can call upon those experiences and the the way that that campaign went or the way that um using paid advertising in that I mean again I'm talking about marketing but when you're trying to get a new business off the ground then I think that the marketing and how you position yourself is fundamental so um so it's not just learning about those people, your clients, but it's learning about those creative people around you. And that could be anybody, you know, in the creative sessions we've had before at, at, at the agencies I've worked for, it's not just getting the creatives in a room, it's anybody, because anybody can pull out an, an interesting idea. There is no such thing as a bad idea, is there? So, you know, if you've got, um, if you're looking at um, a maternity range, and there's people in the finance department that are currently pregnant, you pull them in. They're not creative, they're in the finance department, but still, you know, you're learning from different people's um, ways of thinking in, in whatever industry yeah. they're, in whatever, whatever their job role is. Yeah, I guess this wouldn't be, because we're both biased, so to make this slightly balanced, what what was a, um, a negative, would you say, of working in an agency? Um, 
I think typically like your work-life balance I think because you're because it's so full on or it has been for me um the expectation of you is that you do stay until the pitch is complete you do stay until you've got the idea you know I think there's a, a quite a big movement at the moment where bigger agencies um, don't let you send emails after 6 p.m. or you're not allowed in the office the office is literally on lockdown to try and um, change the industry because it is expected of you to work hard out of hours Um, and again because it's a creative industry predominantly because it's ideas led um, you know those ideas come to you whenever so it's hard to kind of put it in a box so I think um yeah, the time that you're expected and the commitment that you're expected, your head is in it 24-7, um, which again is good if you're thinking about preparing yourself for a startup, to join a startup. Yeah, well, that, that's a good point about if you're looking to start a business. Obviously, a lot of people, you might be listening now, that you, you, you are either starting or want to start your own business. And um, it's just a, a piece of advice, which sounds so obvious, which was told to me a few years ago, is if you want a startup, go and work and learn from a startup. Um, because only then can you understand, like get your ear to the ground and see what's what's going on mm. um, or at least be close to startups, you know, to understand. Because I think a lot of, I think I actually think a lot of people get business advice from like the classic media publishers, like the TV shows like Dragon's Den or oh, right, Apprentice yeah. or Shark Tank, you know, you get, and you, you kind of, obviously that's been, over kind of um produced to try and pull out the crazy stuff that happens and you kind of watch that and you get i think you get a skewed version of what business is business is not like that Mm. um and so to go from that only and not have any kind of experience of maybe starting a business and then try and go go alone yourself is quite a big leap so i think an agency is one of the best ways to kind of get you some exposure with loads of people that are doing similar things so that you can actually hear what's happening now what's 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 current yeah I think there is a bit of a danger um if you've worked in an agency for quite a while to become a little bit cynical as well because you know things are kind of hit and miss so things do go wrong and you can learn from those but also I think it might prevent you from doing certain things again if you've seen it go wrong do you know what I mean? Like if you see money go down the down the swanee, yeah, then you might you, you, like you say people would walk in and they would say, "I've got this idea for you," and you'd think, "Oh, good God!" And then you'd never think you should go and do that yourself. Do, do you know what I mean? Like some of the apps that you told me people came in with, you're like almost tainted by those ideas because of how it's yeah. So as you do wrong. see failed projects, yeah, mm. in agencies, and you can see a lot of you see a lot of money being exchanged, whether it be a successful project or a, you know, a failed project. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Yeah. So to sum up for you then, Dan, um, I think obviously both of us have come across that we think it's a really good idea. Agencies come in all shapes and sizes. Um, obviously, they're not all great, but um, they definitely have their perks. They definitely have their challenges. But what they definitely do is offer a lot of variety, which will help you learn quite quickly. <laughs>